Hey everyone, it's Nancy with She's Got Yarn. My screen's blurry. There we go. Um, oh. I hope everybody enjoyed last night's video. There's going to be a continuance on that, tracking that gator down because Greg says he is dangerous having that huge gator out here. He's missing ducks. So. He said that the numbers have been going down and we think there might be two out there, possibly three, because we were watching the video this morning and definitely could see two wakes, the large wake. And then there was a small one along the side of him or it. So we're gonna bait him up today and hopefully he can get the big one anyways out of there. What's scary is my cousins were swimming in that the other day. Um, she commented on the video, her kids were um, swimming, but I mean, anywhere you go, any springs, there's always gators in there, you know, but if you see the big ones, you got to get rid of them. He's huge, and Greg said he could tell by the size of his eyes of how big he is, so last night was a learning experience, <laughs> but I had fun, but anyways, I'm... I wanted to do a video over here, hanging out on Aunt Jan's step with all her pretty flowers. She comes out here at nighttime and prunes them or whatever, waters them. But I don't have anything to put my camera on except the ground. Let's see. <laughs> Hang on. there. Anyways, I just wanted to update you. And on this video, I'm going to share a couple little clips of the beach the other day. We were, we didn't do a lot. I didn't do a lot of videos at the beach. I have a couple of, like a couple of us, a little, a few little splices of video of us. And then I got a funny video I'll share at the end of two birds on the beach. It was hilarious. And you got to watch it to the end, okay? Because <laughs> it just, I made a funny. <laughs> uh, so, it's just funny. The funniest things can happen sometimes. Unexpected. I probably should put it on TikTok. Um, I know I put a post out that I deleted my TikTok. Somebody sent my phone a code. It wasn't me. So, somebody had my number. And it wasn't my kids. My kids don't get on TikTok. But, you know, I was hacked and all that stuff last month. And they don't have, they have my number, but they don't have my new passwords and stuff. So I think they're trying to get in. <laughs> Whoops. Did you see that bumblebee? That was a big one. I don't think they'll mess with me. I was just in his way, but I'll share some of the, the beach videos. I don't remember where I was. The beach videos, um, I haven't crocheted a lot, you guys. I've been having too much fun. I did, I'm guilty, yesterday I took a long afternoon nap. I ate lunch, I had a big breakfast, you know, Greg and I we rode around a little bit and then, um, I don't know, I had an early lunch and I got real sleepy and I took a nap. Yeah. I don't feel bad about it, but it's the first nap really like that I took since I left the house. But getting back to my crochet, I hadn't crocheted a lot, but I am to the sleeve. I did do the sleeve and it wasn't right and now I just redid it again and I'm not sure let me see if it's right I know what I'm fixing to do isn't a hundred percent accurate because I have a shirt on but let's put it on I got one sleeve done on this v-neck is what I'm calling it the v-neck and you know 
The person who inspired me to do this is Passionate Kelsey, and she's already on like probably the fifth shirt <laughs> since mine. She was doing, she was wanted to see how much she could make in a day using the rainbow color, but doing it backwards. So I just started on blue. I was late. She did yellow and she's done all these beautiful colors, but yeah, I watched her last night and she was on yellow. She's so adorable. And man, that girl can crochet. She can crank out some crochet. She doesn't do real big items, but she still does a lot. If somebody orders a top from her, she'll have it made in no time or a sweater. You know me, I take forever. All right, all right, y'all. Let me pull this down a little bit so you can see what, I, what we got here. So there's the sleeve. It's not tight, it feels good. And so, and you know these shirts, these raglan, they're kind of different, you know. They're not like a regular shirt, so. I chained, I think I chained 10, and I did the treble crochet around, because I was on that stitch. Because so I'm doing treble, double, treble, so. Um, I started out the idea of what the pattern that um, Kelsey was using but I frogged it and I just started doing my own thing. I, I am alternating treble double that she did, but I have a different collar. I mean, it's, it's different. I'm not duplicating anybody. So, but anyways, I think it's turning out pretty good. And I have a light blue cotton skein I brought from made by Burnett that I can trim it out. You know, I was gonna kind of do something in the middle, but I was like, no, I think I have enough to complete it. To complete, it's supposed to be a crop. And if I don't, I'll just use the light blue. But I am gonna trim it out in the light blue, I think. I think, I think, I think. Yeah, there is no yarn stores around here. It's an hour away. I, um, I wanted to go get our nails done, but Jean, I don't know why, but she just, I guess she had a bad experience with one of the the salons here. She says, I don't usually get my, my nails done here. And she actually says she hasn't had her nails done in a few years, so. Ooh, here's a bumblebee. <laughs> it's really close, but I just wanted to hop on here I did not turn off my TikTok properly, so I still have my TikTok. Somebody's trying to hack into it. I really don't care if I have it. I hear that they're gonna do away with TikTok. I've heard rumor of that, I don't know. But um, I'm, I still have my Instagram. I don't post a lot on social media. I really don't even read a lot of that stuff. And every now and then, if I'm sitting somewhere and it pops up on my screen, I might click on it and pay attention to it. Um, but, you know, back when I was making the hats, when Juan was doing his patterns for his hats, the different stitches, I, you know, I made a couple hats and I posted them on Instagram. And, um, but, but that's about, no, not Instagram, TikTok. And that's about all I've done with TikTok anyway. So, I don't know. I've heard mixed reviews on that. I just do this stuff to have fun. Yep. And I, and I, um, and I've developed wonderful friendships and I appreciate all of the friendships out there that I have developed. And I mean, some really good friends, very good friends. And I cherish all my friendships. So, okay. So I, this is all I have for crochet. What? I was here last time y'all saw me. <laughs> At least I got one sleeve done. Now I've got to work on this side. And then I'll start going round and round. I, ha I don't really have much more to go. I could do long sleeve and make it one of those, you know, the young girls, the bell sleeves. My cousin would probably wear it, huh? Maybe, I don't think I have enough yarn to do that. Unless, no, I don't have enough yarn. I don't think I have enough yarn. We'll see. I'll, I'll crop it and probably just go probably to here and we'll see I mean I have other colors at the house but I do want to get a chicken made before I leave but I'm going to be here 
Um, my plan was to be here two weeks, but I may be here three weeks. I don't know. Um, depending on how how badly and I and I do miss them terribly right now is my babies. I I mean I miss my whole family. You know. Am I homesick? No. Sadly, I'm not homesick. And usually, I'm that person that can't wait to get home and get back in my little crochet spot and you know so I'm just having too much fun I think and relaxing and yeah there's no stress here I have no worries whatsoever and as far as the office and stuff Miss Rhonda she's on it I don't have to worry about anything it's the last day of the month and of course, that is the most stressful day of the month is getting invoicing out, you know, making sure everybody got their bills, which we have a, we have a process that it's pretty, it's pretty easy. It's just time consuming, checking pricing and stuff like that. Because prices, they change all the time. You can't put a set price on anything in my shop because a door has so many different components, you know. Uh, a certain size door we don't just sell one certain size door it has it could have an insert it could be solid it could be hollow it could have different trim it's just there's too many components so we have to everything's priced out differently and we can't just set it in the computer you know it's just not that cut and dry when it comes to doors because they're all custom you know we customize our doors to whatever the customers want um, I mean, there are some builders that build the same thing over and over, but yeah, it's, it's not worth just doing it that way for one person, you know? I mean, maybe we'll get a, a billing system that's fancy and we'll do stuff like that one day. But we are going to try to buy the property behind so we can grow. We'll probably have to add on, hopefully. So that's what we've been talking about this the past couple days. So, but yeah, that's about all I've got going on today. Now, I, I'll have another video after this one about tonight and see how the progress goes as far as the gator hunt. We, we, we spotted them, we know they're out there and we kind of know why Greg's duck count is dropping and a lot of the ducks Greg says they usually swim in the lake all the time they're not swimming at all so they're scared yeah one thing I would like to leave to see before I leave is the the, the otters look at this bee right next to me Can you see that bee it's hard to to zoom in when you're I gotta turn the screen around. Oh, now it's gone. Where'd they go? I'm like sitting right here on the doorstep. I noticed I have a couple new subscribers and I just wanna let you guys know, I do yarn on this channel, but I also share some of my life experiences, but I promise there'll be more yarn when I get home. <clears throat> Basically, I have my yarn room tore apart, putting up new shelves, so they might be put up when I get home. Wouldn't that be awesome? But I don't know. I don't expect that because I'm all over the place of what I want to do. So I don't know. Where did that bee go? It's like camouflaged. Here he is. They love these purple plants over there. Look at all the bees over there. Oh, look at the butterfly. I love butterflies. Blue butterflies make me think that's my grandmother visiting me. I get, I've told some of you guys about the blue butterfly. Um, right after my grandmother died, there was this blue butterfly. Let me turn you around. There was this blue butterfly. It was following me around and I thought, I wonder if that's Granny visiting me. And then um, one day, I told you guys this story. My dad sent wheelchairs home 
They were my grandmother's. There was two of them. And the kids would play basketball in the wheelchairs. And anyways, we ended up putting them up in the attic and ended up having to clean the attic out, probably looking for documents. We have like, I throw nothing away. You guys know that. So anyways, I went outside. We put the wheelchairs outside and there was a blue butterfly lit on my grandmother's wheelchair. Okay. And um, I thought of granny. Well, anyways, went in the house, you know, doing my thing. Went outside, I don't know, hour or two later, that blue butterfly was still sitting on that wheelchair. And um, it, it lit, it was, stayed lit on that wheelchair off and on that whole day and into dusk, you know? And of course we had to, I don't know what we did with that. We might've gotten rid of it, I'm not sure, but I just I truly believe she was visiting me. That's how I feel. It's just crazy. And I don't see blue ones very often. So, but that's how I feel about blue butterflies. But that one is a Marquise, it's an orange one over there. I ever tell you about the butterfly story about Tiffany and Tyler? <laughs> this one's funny. Um, and then I'm gonna go. Uh, when Tyler was about four, my, my boss had passed away and he was building a new cancer center. And so there was like an open house when they opened it and somebody sent a gift to the cancer center. It was, it was a plant and it had a caterpillar in it and, and it would, and it had netting over it and it was going to bloom into a beautiful butterfly, you know, eventually. And whatever the plant was, it was eating, you know? So anyways, I took it home. They told me I could take it home. Anyways, it finally, you know, became a cocoon, you know, and Tyler would look at it every day out on the back porch. And of course, at that time, Tiffany was a rotten teenager. <laughs> I think she was driving. She's 16, probably. Anyways, um, one morning I woke up and I could tell it was like, it was starting to come out of it. And I showed Tyler. This was before I had an iPhone, so I didn't get any pictures of it. Dang it. But anyways, it was, it was going to become, it was becoming a butterfly. It was going to escape out of its, its cocoon. Well, anyways, I get home from work that afternoon and the netting's open. No butterfly, no cocoon. Anyways, I go in the house and I go, Tiffany, do you know what happened to, to, um, the butterfly? I said, it was, it was starting to come out. Of she goes, yeah, it, it was flying. So I let him go. I wanted to kill her. <laughs> Rotten teenager. She was like totally clueless. She thought she was doing a good deed. She wasn't paying attention to us, like nurturing it, watching it through its process. I don't think because she was in her own little world, but she saw it fluff. She said it, it wanted to get out. It was like trapped in the net. Duh. <laughs> that was one of Tiffany's dumb things. <laughs> that was before Tansy time. Now she's my best friend. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hopefully I'll have more stories tonight. I love you all and I will see you tomorrow. Mwah. Morning everyone. It's Nancy with She's Got Yarn. We between me and Jan, it's 9.30 and we are ready to go to the beach. We had to turn around because she forgot her earrings. I wouldn't go without earrings also. So, But yeah, so I'm excited. We got drinks, ice on the drinks. We got the cooler. Cooler does not leak. Actually, let me go double check the cooler. Greg, I said, you don't need any of these chips, do you? He goes, no, no, no. Hey, everyone. It's Nancy with She's Got Yarn. We're 
at the beach. Don't ask me what beach. I'll have to ask Jan what beach this is. But Jan's right there. Okay. She's right there. Let me turn you around. And I'm a leopard today. <laughs> Y'all, this is so nice and so pretty. I live close to water, but it seems like I've, I've been a hermit for the past year, and that's ending. Let's start. When I go on vacation, we're going to go and do stuff, not just eat at restaurants and go back to our room and crochet. There's all the people. Not, not a lot of people. Island State Park. Thank you. In South Carolina. Okay. Do not video me in my bathing suit. This is waist up. I mean chest up. Hang on. Look at this couple. They're they're arguing. 